Okay, so we're in VS Code and we're going to use a simple Node.js app for this. Now it's a few things to install. First we're going to install a theme. Um, there's many themes you can choose from really. So we're going to install two themes, technically, called Horizon Theme. Just press install and we've got it. And Material Icon Theme, which is this one. We also get built-in npm script support in this, which is very helpful. Start and start is pointing to run this app.js what will happen is hi <laughs> what else could it do okay but there's another way to run app.js and look at variables okay we can also change the tab size if we press ctrl shift p preferences open user settings tab size now i prefer two so i'm gonna go with two for this you may have to reload the project with ctrl shift p reload so we start at position when we go to we go to a position this is left and right this is up and down 2d space we move a position we want to check the position with breakpoints how do we do that we just click down here or we press f9 and go in our line and we get a breakpoint so press f5 then and now it stops here it's stopped in time position is 3 1 okay we're going to press f5 Okay, so we get move to 2400. Zero, zero. Now we want to have a breakpoint. We want to pause time. Before this line is executed, stop and show me all the variables. We can also watch the variables. So position, go to this, which is run, and type position in. So now when we press F5, the position starts at 3 1. Now when we press continue, F5 again. 2, 4, and it's going to end here. There's no other breakpoint. That's cool. Breakpoints are very powerful. We're just briefly explaining it here. So we can also step into a function with F11, see what's going on it within the function as it's executed, maybe add more breakpoints. We can step out if we want, shift F11, and that will go to this. So that's a very powerful debugging tool I use a lot of the time, and it will help out a lot in Node.js. Okay, so I've added this test script and a test file. So this part will be about testing. Basically, when we press test and run, we can also debug it and get the values, which is very helpful. Okay, so we can go in here and actually debug it like that. But I changed this to a class as well. so. The position is encapsulated and it returns a private variable so only this class can access and change the position. So there's a good extension called Mocker Test Explorer that I've used. Make sure to install that. Okay, so make sure you have a folder called test in test.js. The test will show up in this if you set them up correctly. Now, we're going to run the test like this and both pass. Now if we get one wrong to prove that they work, we can test them again. One is wrong. Expected this to be Y2. There's testing and I've test I've used it with TypeScript. I mainly use TypeScript with these. How I'm using this syntax. If you go to package.json and add type module and then convert every file you have, you can use export and import instead, which is ES6. Okay, we can also initialize repositories and make sure when we do this, we add a git ignore. Now this is important and we want to ignore the VS code. We can do that, just the node modules and with a slash on the end. Now when we commit this, all the node modules don't get added to, which would confuse git. Uh, first, now when we press first, so there's our essential Node.js setup. Now you might want to sign in to sync settings so these settings won't get lost. So now my settings are synced. Brilliant. Okay, so if you need help with this, go to discord.io slash adamjr. But anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time.